Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is The Skin Enthusiast and this is the final short and sweet review for this week. It's a product that, that I've been getting a lot of questions about on Instagram. This is my daily sunscreen, the Clarins UV Plus Anti-Pollution SPF 50. I love that it's an SPF 50. It's probably the reason I bought it. It's because it's a very high SPF, but it's not thick and it doesn't smell like sunscreen. To me, those are the three um, absolute must for a daily sunscreen is it needs to have a smell that you can stand, it needs to be spreadable and look nice under makeup, and it needs to be a high SPF to protect you. Um, I live in Southern California where the sun is strong and I sit in my car sometimes for two hours a day. And if you didn't know, UV rays do come through the car windows. So it's very important to keep SPF on in the morning when you're driving as well as throughout the day to protect your skin. It's the number one best, easiest way to prevent early aging. So this sunscreen I really like because it is silky. It's not thick at all. Again, it doesn't smell like sunscreen. And one of the best parts is it doesn't leave a white cast. Um, so you don't have to worry about it interfering with any base makeup you could be putting on. I usually blend it in. I mix it with my moisturizer and just blend them both in as the final step to my skincare. And this much does my whole face. It spreads so beautifully. Again, the, the smell, if you haven't used any of Clarins products before, it smells very typical of a Clarins product. It's just a very clean scent and it doesn't smell at all like sunscreen. So I highly recommend it. Um, some days if I'm wearing a little bit more makeup or if I know I'm gonna be outside later in the day, I'll uh, skip it and use the Defense Refresh Setting Spray by Supergoop instead. It's also SPF 50. But for most days, this is my ride or die. It's $42. I bought it at Nordstrom's. You can get it at Sephora. And if that sounds like a lot for you to spend on a sunscreen, just remember, of course, that this should definitely, a sunscreen of any type should be a part of your anti-aging regime. And I bought this bottle nine months ago. So $40 spread over nine months, it really makes a difference. And if you spend less money on a sunscreen that you don't like as much and then don't use it, then you pay for it anyway with sunspots, um, discoloration. So I can't recommend a sunscreen enough. This is the one that I love. Kathleen Lights uh, in her March Favorites talked about the tinted version of this sunscreen. I haven't tried it, but I love her reviews and I'm planning on actually picking up the tinted version very soon when I run out of um, this sunscreen. I'm going to get this one and the tinted version. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if you want to see more short and sweet videos. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks. Ugh. Take 362.